Welcome to this episode of On Photography. In this episode, we're going to unbox this, the SJ Cam 360 degree camera. So tell you what, let's go ahead and open this up. All right, before we get too far in, let's go ahead and measure this box. I want to share with you guys how big this box is. So this box is about uh, four and a quarter uh, inches, or for my metric friends, it's about 11 centimeters uh, or so by about uh, 14 centimeters or I wish they started the origin of this ruler at the same or about five and a half inches and it is about two and a half inches thick or eh, about 60, 6.3 uh, centimeters wide so it's actually a pretty small box I was actually surprised by the size of the box um, which is probably a good thing <laughs> you know good things come in small boxes in second um, the big thing with this is if it comes in a small box it's probably going to be small and small is what I like when it comes to 360 degree camera so let's go ahead and split this box open and take off uh, all this plastic and the box is very attractive make a nice Christmas gift kind of pulls up and woo pretty look at that I want to just set that down there so you guys can kind of see that so uh, as I open up the box so you got this uh, handy pod tripod type thing and if I can get it out of the box without shaking guys too much because the idea is you can hold it like this or pop it open into a tripod and you can leave it sit on the table like this so uh, pretty neat it's kind of spring loaded this is kind of springy but you can bring it back in like this and hold it quarter 20 at the top pretty simple stuff um, the camera now one of the things I like I like about it and the, the packaging here seems to rubbed off a little bit on it but it seems to come off uh, so it's got a display it's got the two lenses it's got lens protection now the interesting thing is the lenses are offset and you can probably see that best from here I'll try to zoom in so one lens is over here one lens is there um, it's got a quarter inch a quarter 20 mount here it looks like it's got a micro USB it's got a power button here don't see where you could pop the battery out to change it so you probably just an internal battery and the idea is this is screws on like this so you can vlog with it so this is uh, also I think would be a good 360 camera for vlogging one of the things I'm interested in uh, using it for also is uh, droning and so let's take uh, let's take some quick measurements off of this so uh, Let's see, it's a little short of about four and a quarter, say so about four and an eighth roughly um, tall. And then it's about an inch and a half wide by, eh, depending on how you look at it, anywhere from a half inch to, to three quarters of an inch if you take into account these uh, lenses uh, wide. Millimeter, uh, you know, from a centimeter standpoint, it's about um yeah three and three quarters centimeters uh wide by about 11 tall and roughly yeah say about 1.3 wide depending upon how you measure it um very light let's go ahead i always know rj makes gonna ask how heavy is that so let's uh let's uh let's see how heavy this is I'm assuming this has the battery in it. If not, we'll discover it. So 80, 87 grams, Robert. It's 87 grams. That's how much this weighs. Let's check the tripod too. Not that. So 62. Ah, so the tripod weighs almost as much as the uh, camera. So let's go ahead and let's see what else is buried in the bottom of this box, if we will. There's got to be something else down here. Ah, so we have other goodies. We've got this card, Amazon Review Club. Uh, and we got this carry bag for it. That's nice. We have a micro USB cable. Add to the thousands we have already. 
We have the obligatory micro cleaning cloth. We have a wrist lanyard. I'm assuming it goes through this section down here. And we have, uh, I think, some basic instructions. Trans, trans coding instruction manual. Wow. Download link. So we need to download an app for this um, to work. Now, what I understand from reading the um, stuff on Amazon about it is it can work connected to the app or standalone. So if it's not connected um, to the uh, app, it's going to record it on an internal internal memory. Now, one of the things that I notice is there really isn't um, a spot for an SD card unless this pops open, and this does. So, this does pop open. Uh, looks like an SD card goes in here. Uh, so it does not look like it comes with an SD card. I don't see an SD card in the uh, box, so I'll have to add one. Um, just kind of looking here. So there's some pins down here what connects to the battery. And so the SD card just slides in here. It says rated voltage, 3 volts. Uh, Shenzhen Hongfen Corporation. And let's see, the battery is 3.8 volts at uh, 1700 milliampere per hour, or it's a 6.4 6 watt battery. So it's a little bit different battery than I've seen before. Um, that seems to give it a little bit of its size, the battery. So that just pops in. And this cover just pops back on. But as I was saying, what I understand is it will save to the memory card. Um, and then you can connect to the app later to do the processing because I think you'll need to do the processing on the uh, app itself. And what I'll do is I'll do a complete video on um, the app and using it. And we'll take some 360 pictures with it. And we'll probably fly this on uh, a drone too, so see how it works. Because uh, again, with this quarter 20, what I'll do is I'll take a, a GoPro mount, mount it on here, and I can mount it on a drone upside down. I'll have to put some extended legs. This guy's pretty tall, but I uh, really like the weight and everything. The um, the quality of the lenses looks actually pretty good, and the size is pretty good too. It's uh, They're not that huge, which is good. Uh, because the other one, the lenses are really, or the lens, I should say, singular, is rather big because it's only a, a, two, a 270, and because it just measures the view here. Now here, there's a front and back, so as you place the camera, in this type of orientation, you should get a whole, uh, basically, 360 degree view out of this guy. So I'm pretty excited. I don't know if there's any power and it doesn't look like it to start it up because I'm holding the power button down. So I'll have to charge it. Oh, this is the power button. Duh. Um, that changed color. There we go. If you push the right button, it uh, actually seems to turn on. So let's go ahead. And it's beeping. It's probably complaining because there's no memory card in it. Um, so this is right now at uh, 1920 by 960. So I can't remember. And I'll probably put in an overlay if this did 4K or not. I think it might have done 4K or might do 4K. Um, I'll have to go through the instructions a little bit and look at how the uh, settings work on this uh, to get to various settings. Um, the battery's almost dead. Not surprising. Just came in. So anyways, I wanted to share this with you guys because um, I just got this in. And for 150 bucks, seems like 149 or something on Amazon, I, I really like the idea of getting a... 360 true 360 camera now this also does panorama spherical so it does all kinds of stuff with the app so i'm really excited to get into it and like i say i'll do another video where we do some footage with it uh we actually use the app i'll do the android app so i can get some screenshots of it for you guys and share it with you so so far i'm uh, impressed with the quality of this for 150 bucks you know i've been looking at a number of them and they've been running closer to the 300 price range so this is about half the price and again if I want to fly it on a drone or something like that I don't want to put a ton of money on it because I might put it in the lake or something else like that or 
if you just want to get into 360 degree photography, which is really the buzz these days, um, this is a good way to go. So uh, again, I've got one of the cheaper ones, the eBay uh, version, and it's 270. It only looks one way, and and that one was about 80 or 90 bucks. So this one's a little bit more expensive, but it is true 360. And uh, I think this is a better quality than, uh, again, the eBay one I got. So, anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. If you have one of these, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, keep an eye out. I'll be putting out more content with this guy. And I'll also put out some 360 stuff on here, too, because I'm interested to do some 360 time lapses. Uh, I think that would be really cool, uh, especially down by the lake, uh, etc. So, watch for those. So, anyways, um, that's what I got. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button over there, and we'll catch you in the next video.